And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Miami Marlins. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. So the Atlanta Braves have and already now, won the series, no, and now they go for the four-game sweep, Chris. It's been Miami. a lopsided series so far. Yeah, and they've clearly been the better team, and I expect them to come out today looking to tie a bow on this series. And on the other side, most teams run into at least a three-game sweep at some point, but not every team looks back at a four-game sweep at the end of the year. And I'll say this, as a player, it's especially frustrating when the losses keep coming against the same team. So if they can salvage a win today, this series won't go down quite as sour. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Sixto Sanchez. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. So just about set now. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Leading off the afternoon for Atlanta, the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. And a pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. And forget it. Ozzy Albies goes yard. That's a special one. 100 career homers. And that gives him a lead. It's 1 0. Now at the plate, Joe Rios. This guy is one of the best athletes exactly. in the sport. The center fielder. Joe. In the air, right field, Garcia moving under it. He makes the grab, one down. Batting third. Digging in, the Ronald Acuna game. Jr. Ronald Three hits Acuna. last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Puts it away for the out. That Here's Austin Riley. The third baseman. Austin Riley. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Austin Riley goes deep. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 2 0. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. 
Matt Olson up to the plate. This guy has turned into a beast. The first base. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's two zip. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab, Ian Anderson. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five Marlins. different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round yeah. things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Swing and a bouncer. Throw on to Olsen. And a quick out number one. Batting second. Here's the, the third, third baseman, baseman. Joey Wendler. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And first offering is fouled off. Late that time, and it's strike two. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. I have to regroup here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Hitless in the series so far. Aguilar. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. Enough to do it for the Marlins. They trail it here 2-0. Second inning set to go. Here's Orlando Arcia. Leading off for Atlanta, the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Sanchez back to work. Up the middle. On the run, sent it over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting seven. The left field. Here's Eddie eight. Rosario. Eddie. Seven hits, six RBIs in the series to this point. That one is absolutely belted. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Around second now, as they still don't have it. And he'll make it into third with a triple. One down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The right fielder, number 20. Marcel Ozuna. And that one is lifted in the air. Dela Cruz makes the catch. Runner tags for home. The throws offline. He's safe. And they lead by three. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and you don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Swing and a base hit. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're the seeing high speeds Second day nine. after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. So the batting order turns over. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. Lifted in the air right center field. Makes a nice running catch. And that will end the inning. So they pick. Back here at the ballpark, Jorge Soler up at the plate. Leading the wind of the, the pitch. Marlins, the left fielder. And first okay. offering is fouled off. So there. Swings through that one. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Ozuna puts it away, one up, one down. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. The right fielder, Avisayu. Avisayu Garcia stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. 
on the ground right side and that squirts through around first and hustling for second and he starts his afternoon off right with a double one out runner at second now it's the DH that Ryan hit. Anderson the designated hitter Ryan Anderson. next offering he's in for a strike the pitch that one down the line and that's just foul Garcia over at second one down stays alive and down on strikes that's out number two well, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here at Lone Depot Park, stepping in the long ball threat, Joe Rios. Sanchez back to work. Out towards right center field. Can't get there, base hit. Now around second, going for third. The relay throw, not in time, he's safe. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting no, practice it. today. So impressed with good. his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Snags it on the run. Runner tags from third. He scores on the sack fly, and it's 4-0. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. He was all over that fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Swung on, belted, back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. We head now to the home half of... And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third, Miguel Rojas at the play. For the Marlins, not shortstop. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Rojas. Righty delivers. There's a strike. Going to now. And that just misses. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one gone. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the over 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Peyton Henry stands in here, leaves that one down. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number two. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And that's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive now. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something. Well, going to pause on that thought. Out of the fourth, here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Garcia. And a pitch. 
Orlando Arcia. And that one wrapped foul. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. In the air, center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The left field so digging in, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. That one ripped right center field. Back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He rockets one to right, his fourth home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's five zip. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. So one out, nobody on. And now the right fielder, now Marcelo right. Zuna. Right fielder. Marcel. That's oh, ripped. Man. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, now you've got to live on the outer the edges. Catcher. When it's right on Rabbit. a tee, right down the middle, oh, professional man. hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. That's hard hit in the line. And there's a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Jesus Lazardo taking over on the mound. He comes in with his part. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Ozuna coming home. One run in. Here comes another. Chisholm with a relay home. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. It's seven to nothing. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Joe Rios. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. So he blasts one out the other way. His seventh home run of the season. It's 9-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. That one ripped. And Acuna retired. Two down. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. Now a high fly ball out to left center. De La Cruz under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9-0. Welcome back. Bottom four. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman. In for a strike. That's strike one. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. And a base hit right there. So a man on base to start the inning. And now for the Marlins, Jorge Soler. The batter, the left fielder. Hey, In hey. there for strike one. Soler. At the belt and fires. In for a strike. And that is strike two. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Next offering is fouled back. On the ground. Could be two. Arcia. Toss the second. On to Olsen. That's two. Now batting. The right fielder, Avisail. Avisail Garcia, Garcia up to the plate. 
strike. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a big swing and a miss. No ball, ahead 0 2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. That's towards center. Rios makes the catch, and that'll do it. We go to the top of the fifth. Now in for the Braves, Matt Olson. The, Braves, the first baseman, Matt Olson. The pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the catch for the out. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself the it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Orlando. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Solaire makes the catch. Two down. The left fielder, number eight, Eddie. Rosario. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Now fly ball to right center. De La Cruz settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. Down quickly here. Back here in Miami, bottom of the inning, and now the DH, Ryan Leadoff. Anderson. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike Ryan. one. The pitch. Anderson. Yeah. And that drops in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. The 0 2. Stays alive. Foul ball. And the 0 2. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him okay. off. Fastball, even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly late with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Next offering is foul back. 0-2 oh now. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, now not batting. walking opposing Shortstop. batters. You know, this Big offense, down. they've got to find a way to break his oh, rhythm, oh. put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's hey. coming right hey. after these guys. Yo, two. And fouled off. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Foul ball there. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, Whoa, right create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Right through there, got him. That's his second strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Marcelo Zuna. Marcel. Hit hard, base hit. Throw is cut off, goes to first. In there safely. Seems like he got exactly what he was now, looking for right there. Fastball pretty right much in. middle middle and that's oh, what no. you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. That's back. And that one is out of here. Travis Darno hits one out. Home run number five on the season and they add on. It's 11 nothing. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Anthony Bass. This is his third time out this year. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Out there to center. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now the center fielder, Joe Rios. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Here's Acuna now. Ripped to short. And it finds its way through for a hit. Rios around third. Play it home. He's safe. It's 12-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Now Pretty bad. tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now it's going to be Austin Riley. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Bat at first. Baseman. Matt Olson Matt. next up for the Braves. Olson. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Oh, and one now. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Matt Olson goes deep. His ninth homer of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 14-0. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, Boog. These kinds of streaks Ladies just don't come around too often. Richard Blyer now gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Richard. So two away with nobody on Blyer. at the play. Orlando Arcia. Hit hard on the ground to short. Over to Aguilar. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. On to the bottom of inning number. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Peyton Henry. The catcher. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Henry. And a pitch. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Center field and up next for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. And that's in there for strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one to first. Takes it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping now, the ball out Third of the baseman. air. Let's the defense work Go behind in. him with another ground ball. Good execution. Wendell in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And there's a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the Marlins down. Top of inning number seven. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Eddie Rosario. The left fielder, number eight. Eddie. And the pitch. Rosario. Swings and sends a rocket to right. One away. The right fielder. Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo. Next up for the Braves. Well struck left field. That's back there on its way. And out of here. So he leaves the yard to left. His second of the year. It's 15-0. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. The catcher. And here is Travis, Travis Darno. Darno. Line drive, base hit. 
around first heading for two and it bangs up against the wall and he's got a double his fourth hit. And now Ozzy Albies. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now here is Joe Rios. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tagging for third. Play at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And they extend their lead. And he hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. That one drilled left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Seventh inning stretch time. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Set for the last half of the seventh. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. First baseman. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him now up back. on the inside part Don't of the plate. Him. Couldn't get around on it. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. That's in there. And the count is 0-2. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Smash to the left side. Knocks it down. And he beats it. He's safe. Man at first with one gone. Now it's going to be Avisail Garcia. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And he deals. Fly ball down the line. Racing makes the catch. And there's two away. The batter, number 15. And at first, designated now. Now here's the Marlins DH. Ryan, Ryan Anderson. Anderson. Adam Duvall. You're He's out left field. Getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Also entering. the game Dansby Swanson Number he's in a shortstop also Adam. into the ball game Duvall. Alex Dickerson he takes over and right left field Duvall makes the catch and that'll do it Marlins ready to begin the eighth down the third baseman Austin Riley the third baseman Austin Liar back to work Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first. One up, one down. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Up the middle. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. 
And safe at he second. Did. He beats it. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Swanson is set down. And there's two away. Now Here's the veteran outfielder, Adam Duvall, getting his first Duvall. appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench defensively. Out front and foul to the left side. Man on second, two down. That one lifted to left. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now for the Marlins, Jazz Chisholm. Leading off for the Marlins. The second base. And a foul ball. Jazz. Chisholm. Right into the plate. And that one fouled off. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. This ball's chopped in the ground. One gone in the bottom of the eighth. The batter number 11. Shortstop. And up next. For Miami, Miguel Rojas. Who's Rojas. 0 for 2 with a Your pair of strikeouts. A defensive change for the Braves. Now catching number 60, Chadwick Trump. There comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Ian Anderson is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Tyler Matzik will take Braves. over on the mound. This is Number his first Indian. appearance of the season. In there, and it's 0-1. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. The next offering misses. And now it's even 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Man, that was pretty gross right there. In the air to left center, Rios has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it, and there are two outs. Up next for the Marlins. Now it's the Marlins catcher, the catcher. Peyton Henry. Peyton. Henry. First oh, offering goes. misses the mark. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything okay. going. Next one misses, and the no count break. is two and zero. Oh. Next offering is foul back. The 2 1. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. Line drive. Drops into the glove. And that'll do it. Miami down. New pitcher on here. Anthony Bender. Here's Dickerson now. Taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Atlanta, the right fielder, Alex. The wide to kick the pitch. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to Atlanta. swing it on the first pitch. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. De La Cruz makes the play. One down. So the lineup flips over. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. Has some trouble with it. Rojas for one to first, not in time. 
great effort there. Now back the 17th. So up next, Joe Rios. Ah, oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. To the right side. Fires over to first. And the inning is over. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Back here in Miami. So bottom of the ninth. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter. For the Marlins. The center fielder. At the bullpen Boy, is Will yeah. Smith. He's making his second appearance of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching and a pitch. And yeah, first offering is fouled off. Smith. The pitch. Ground ball, Olsen. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting. Here's Third Joey Wendell. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that one is in for a strike. Hook this started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next offering is down low. And the count is even two and two. This one in the air center field. Dickerson racing over to make the catch. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. Aguilar. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Here comes a pitch. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. Next offering is foul back. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him. Down on strikes. And that'll do it. Well, this is a nice sweep. Good way to finish this series. You're heading to another city for another one. Got to maintain the same focus. Whatever you were doing in this city, make sure you're doing the same thing in the next one. Eat the same thing. Sleep the same way. Get to the ballpark at the same time. So this one got a little out of hand. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.